Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the oven thermostat and switch on a Rangemaster cooker. If your thermostat indicator light is not working, or your oven is burning food, then it is likely that the thermostat has failed and it needs replacing. Safety first, always disconnect an appliance before carrying out any work. To access the thermostat and switch, I need to remove this top panel. To do that, I at first need to remove this vent at the back by removing the five screws that hold it in place. Now for this job, you have to remove quite a few screws from the cooker. So what I've done is I've just grabbed an old ice tray and then I can put the screws in different compartments so I know exactly where they've come from and how to refit them. With the vent out of the way, I can now remove this hot plate to access the two screws that hold this half of the top panel in place. With the screws removed, I can now move this half of the top to one side. And then I need to remove this half of the top panel by undoing the two screws at the back which hold it in place. Then I can just simply shift this forward and then rest it to one side. Next, I need to remove this control panel. First, I need to take all the knobs off of the front and then undo the three screws at the top and the three screws at the bottom that hold it in place. For these last two screws that are underneath the control panel, I'm just going to use a stubby screwdriver as the grilled door blocks access. And here we can see the thermostat and switch that we'll be replacing. What I'm going to do is just take a photograph of the electrical connections so that when I fit the new thermostat and switch, we're putting the connections in the right place. I can then unscrew the thermostat and switch. With both screws out of the thermostat and switch, I'm actually going to lift up and out the switch. Then what I'm going to do is grab our new one and then I can replace the wires like for like on the new one from the old one using the photo as a reference if required. Now that the wires are all replaced from the old one to the new thermostat and switch, I can screw it into position. Now that the thermostat and switch are screwed into position, we need to deal with the capillary part. Now this obviously senses the temperature inside the oven. If we have a look at the old capillary, on the old thermostat and switch. It feeds through a hole in the roof of the oven and is held in place by two clips inside that we need to remove. So I'm now just going to put the control panel back into position, making sure I don't trap any wires. Then what I can do is remove the shelf and also this roof liner inside, which just simply slides out. And then if we look inside, we can see the two clips held in place by two screws, which I'm just going to remove. Those two screws removed, I 
can now lift out the capillary, remove these two clips, feed the old capillary through the hole in the roof before refitting the new capillary with the two clips. With the new capillary fed through the roof of the oven, I can now pop the two clips in place before screwing it back into the back of the oven. Now that the capillary is screwed in place at the back of the oven with the two clips, I can replace the roof liner and the shelf. With the shelf now in place, I can refit the screws to the control panel and of course the knobs. With the control panel screwed into place and all the knobs fitted, I can now refit the top two panels. When putting the hot plate half back on, just make sure that the two recesses in the top fit over the two locking screws there. And then push it back. Now you can screw it into place. Now all I need to do is to refit the vent at the back. So there we have it, one new oven thermostat and switch fitted to this Rangemaster cooker. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.